Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone. I am not going to lie, I recently filmed this video and after I filmed the video, I completely changed my phone because I was just not satisfied. I had the moon screen and like the dark theme for a while. Also too, I'm filming outside because I just wanted it more casual and so sorry if the lighting changes. It just got like super bright out. So basically after that video, I wanted to change my home screen because I just had the old layout, the layout that had the moon and then the screen time on it. I've had that screen for like over a year so I just wanted to change it up. And then Catherine June came out with her what's on my iPhone and I just really liked it. So I kind of just based my model off of her again. It's just like her new screen. So I kind of wanted to show you what my phone was like now because it has changed. And also too, I got feedback that like I shook my phone too much. So we're just gonna put the screen on the screen. I'm kind of just refilming this video because I feel like I completely lied to you in that other video because I immediately changed my entire phone. So here here is my lock screen. Honestly, I just picked the same screen as Catherine did just because I think it's pretty and it goes with the home screen, which you'll see. I have the date and then my alarm. I always like to make sure that I can see if I have an alarm on. The time, I like that and it's like really thin, very simplistic. And then the weather, so sliding this on up. This is what my home screen looks like and you can tell it looks just like hers except my calendar at the top is basically the Google Calendar because I don't know why my Google Calendar doesn't like line up with the Widget Smith one. So yeah, it's not really like as aesthetic, but it's just easy for me like at a glance to see what I have going on. Disney days, my dog's grooming appointments. I'm gonna quickly slide to the left, but I have like blurred out uh, my friend because yeah, just because it's like a silly picture. But basically I just have the weather and my clock there. So it's like really easy access. So I guess starting off, I have my wallet. It's just conveniently located because I typically use my phone with my left hand. So I can easily just tap that when I'm at a store. Next up we have um, Google Chrome and I just really like the Google Chrome instead of the Safari. Oh, it's my mom inside. Sorry about the noise. But anyway, four out of the like five apps that aren't in folders are Google. So next up we have YouTube and basically this is my YouTube channel. So subscribe. I just hit 38,000 again. I've hit 38,000 like four times because I keep like going down and then going back up. So Thank you guys that have stuck around. It means the absolute world to me. Next, we have the Google Maps. And again, I like the Google products. So I use Google Maps instead of just the Maps or Waze because it just goes along with everything. Next up, we have productivity. So we have my mail apps and I just keep my mails together. And then I have notes and reminders. And then I have cycle bar, which I kind of put my membership on pause. I kind of want to drop down a tier because like I'm not going as frequently. And then we have the flow app, which just tracks your period. Next up, we have Facebook. This is where I do all the stalking, you know, got to figure out what's going on in people's lives and who knows who. I don't know. I just find it so entertaining. That's what I do in my spare time. Then I have Discord. I love reading like the gossip sites. They're just fun to read. And then I have Reddit, also good for like reading things. And they don't really like take up a lot of cellular. So like they actually load if you don't have very good service. Then we have Instagram. This is my main Instagram. Please follow me if you are not already. Here's my little feed. Then we have Messenger. Messenger is what I use when, you know, people don't want to text. They always do Messenger, which it really annoys me, but it's all good. And then I have Pinterest. Follow me on Pinterest if you are not already. I am so happy that I have almost 200,000 monthly views. That's pretty nice, but this is my board. And then I have some pins that have gone kind of viral, which is pretty cool. And then of course we have TikTok. This is one of my favorite apps. I can spend so much time. I actually have a time limit set on both Instagram and TikTok because I can spend so much time. So I just have two hours and a half of like screen limit time because I don't know. I just feel like I could be more productive. 
And then next, these are the main editing apps I use. So first we have Lightroom. I use Lightroom all the time. This is kind of like the pictures I have there. And then I have Lens Buddy, and this is um, an app. See, <laughs> you can see a little bit. This is an app that can take photos simultaneously, like every second it'll take a photo. Um, it's really good when I don't have someone to take a photo of me. I could just use my tripod. Next we have Preview, and this is the app where I kind of like plan out how my feed's gonna look, so it'll be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Next we have CapCut. I edit all of my TikToks and Reels on this app. It's just really easy to use. It's very user friendly and I can do voiceovers. I personally like TikToks with voiceovers and not a lot of text on the screen because I don't wanna read it. So I just like listening to a little vlog, like kind of like YouTube. And then next we have Camera Connect and this is how I get all my photos from my Canon G7X onto my phone. It's very convenient. And next we have finance and this is just my banking apps but i like to keep them all on the home page just so i can easily keep track of everything and then down at the bottom dock i have messages my phone photos and i think i mentioned this to you guys before but basically i delete all my photos and put them on an external hard drive and basically what i do is just organize them in folders like photo library 20 21 like I have that and then I have all the months and everything's pretty organized um, Last year was a little bit organized, but this year it's very organized and then all the previous years It's like a mess in the folders, but all my photos are there um, I just find that to be easy and the less photos you have on the phone The more efficient your phone's gonna be is just kind of what I've found and when I was transferring everything from my old iPhone onto this iPhone basically the transfer happened in like 10 minutes because I only had like five photos so I highly recommend you do like a photo dump onto your computer or invest in an external hard drive it just works out really well Next, I'm going to show you just all my apps, like a little run through. Um, I have Amazon. I've learned that not having the shopping apps on my phone is really nice because it's less tempting to like buy stuff, I guess. But I have Amazon App Store, Apple Store, Authenticator, Be Real, Bumble, Calculator, Calendar Camera, Camera Connect, CapCut, Selly Service. That's just to keep up like with the town I live in. And then we have Chase, Chick-fil-A, Chrome, Clock, Contacts, Cycle Bar, Discord, Discover, Disney World, which I'm going to Disney on Wednesday. I'm so excited. Um, then I have Donato's, Best Pizza Ever, DoorDash. Oh my gosh. So I go back and forth like deleting this app and getting it again. I think I'm just going to end up keeping it because... There's been times that I'm like, maybe I should DoorDash that, but I never actually end up doing it. And it's like super overly priced. It's complicated. And then I have Google Drive, Duncan, eBay, Aeroscale, Facebook, Facetune. Then we have Fairwinds, Fidelity, Files, Find My iPhone, Fitness, and Flow. And then we have Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Maps, Health, Instagram, iTunes Store. Jetpack is for my website. It's like for my blog and website essentially i never really use it and then i have lens buddy lightroom linkedin lock it that's the app that you can put like your picture um of your friend on your home screen like in a widget and then like to know it lululemon mail maps messages messenger music my cricket cricket's my cell phone carrier and then notes open table to always like make reservations and stuff outlook pam PayPal, phone, photos, Pinterest, podcast, preview, Publix, Reddit, reminders, retouch. Retouch is like if you want to get like a spot of a photo um, taken out. Like say you didn't want, like there was a mark on the wall, you could just use retouch to like paint it out. Safari, Sephora, settings, Simply Safe, Smart Lock, Starbucks, Target, Threads, TikTok, TV. Venmo, Vimeo, Wallet, Weather, WFTV Weather, WhatsApp. This is the app that like our school used to communicate with us, like our teachers. I kept the app, but I just removed it from the home screen because I don't know, you just never know. And then X, Yelp. I love reading bad Yelp reviews in my free time. I think it's just like kind of 
fun. <laughs> and then YouTube and YouTube Studio. So that is basically everything on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'm gonna stop the recording. And basically, I don't think I said this in the beginning of the video, but this is the iPhone 15 Pro in the black titanium. And then this is just like black Apple silicone case. I love the Apple silicone cases, even though they're kind of, they're not the best quality, I will say, but I like them. They're simple. Don't really have to think about it. Looks good in selfies, in like the mirror or whatever. And then this is also the 128, 126, the lowest tiered gigabytes because I'm not gonna pay even more for more storage. Because again, like I said, if you invest in a external hard drive, you don't need all of that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just felt like I was lying to you during that whole time because I like completely changed my phone. So yeah, also too, um, I will link down below the screensaver from Catherine June. I'll just put her link to her like Pinterest because that's where I got the photo from. So you guys can just go check that out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.